Hi everybody, Joe Conkley in the shop. Today we're not actually in the shop. We're in the um, acoustic electric listening room here at, on the Elderly Instruments uh, showroom floor. And I want to talk about acoustic guitar pickups today. And uh, we'll take a look at uh, two of our best sellers and they actually, one of the reasons they're our best sellers, they're two different families of uh, pickup types, and uh, we'll just sort of start there. Our favorite pickup in the shop at the moment is the uh, K and K. Well, it's the KK3, and the official title is the KK Pure Mini Pickup System. Um, we like it a lot because it's uh, a very simple system straightforward installation and we get um, really consistent performance with it guitar, from guitar to guitar and it does give you um, some nice characteristics of the individual guitar from guitar to guitar. It doesn't sound like the pickup system only. Um, it is, let me pull it out here and we can take a look at it. And, uh, you'll see what I mean by the fairly simple product. It's already pre-wired to a quarter inch end pin jack to replace the end pin in your guitar and it is three pickup elements, three, tra three top transducers that are summed to one. Each one of these elements goes inside the guitar on the top of the guitar. Um, one thing that I of the many things that I like about it. One is that other top transducers, you usually have to find the sweet spot on the guitar for it to perform its best. So one of the challenges of installation is to search out that spot and find it. Um, with top transducers like that, we found that um, sometimes uh, the repairman's opinion of that best spot doesn't always correspond to the customers and there are some guitars where you can't find a great sweet spot it doesn't you know so um that's one nice thing about this there is a standard installation spot for these three elements which is right underneath the um, saddle on the bridge plate and when you can do that it, it delivers every time we haven't run into a situation where it has not delivered. Um, just to give you an idea of where that is on the interior of the guitar, here we have a sample guitar top. This is the bridge plate right here. It sits right under a bridge on any guitar. So the bridge plate on this guitar is right here underneath the guitar and here's the saddle. So what we're trying to do is put those elements right underneath that saddle, follow this slight slant, intonation slant towards the bass side of the instrument and um, evenly spaced in between each, um, in between the E and the B string and the E and the A and the middle one goes right in between the D and the G. Nice evenly spaced gives you good response across the um, uh, sound spectrum. Mm -hmm. So, on the guitar, on the interior of the guitar, it's sitting, let's see if I can approximate this here just with my hands, it's sitting something like this. I will come up here, the camera, is that a good, kind of sits like that, I don't know if you can see that. Each one, they'd be spread out a little bit more, like that. Um, and that would be right underneath that saddle. And then on the interior of the guitar, it hangs like this, and it goes back to the, the end pin jack. And you take this um, rubber sleeve and slide it up towards there to get that situation where it's hanging right in the guitar. So there are no wires attached to the top the back or the sides of the guitar. It's suspended in midair there. It's not gonna rattle against those wires. You secure it with super glue. That's part of the professional installation. They provide a nice little kit of tools to get that placement exactly where you need it. Um, 
we charge $126 for that professional installation. That uh, includes uh, reaming out the end pin to fit this uh, half inch end pin jack installation of those elements and then testing of the whole thing. So that's one pickup that we're going to look at today. The other one is the Fishman Matrix Infinity. Fishman has been an industry leader in acoustic pickups for a long time. And um, their pickup has several different parts to it. The main thing being this under the saddle pickup element. So you remove the saddle from the guitar, drill a small hole in the in the one in the base end of that saddle so that the wire can slip down through and this pickup sits underneath the saddle. And the coupling of that saddle on top of the pickup with the surrounding slot is what makes the whole thing work. Um, those two um, types of pickups, top transducers like the K and K and under the saddle pickups like the Fishman are make up a large majority of the pickups available are, are built on one of those two uh, platforms. And uh, we found over over time, you know, with listening to a number of different products like uh, with either of these, that the uh, top transducers tend to produce a fairly warm uh, sound and um, when they work properly, like the K&K, &K, you do get some characteristic, individual characteristics of the guitar itself. The under the saddle pickups tend to have um, a little more focused sound, um, a little more sound of the string. Um, the K&K uh, &K pickup or the top transducer at very high volumes, it could be subject to some feedback, but it would have to be a very high volume. The uh, under the saddle is pretty much a no feedback situation, even at very high volume. So um, if you're playing your acoustic guitar in a rock band um, with other electric instruments and drums on a, in a, uh, a loud venue, um, you know, the uh, under the saddle pickup is a little, um, it's more straightforward to use. The top transducer couldn't work with a medium volume, you know, rock and roll situation and any acoustic situation too. But so they, they both give you different um, elements. So uh, the Fishman pickup does come. This version of it does come with the same end, size end pin jack, but there is a preamp right here built in. So that preamp needs nine volt battery to run it. So that's one of the things with the Fishman, there'd be a nine volt battery inside the guitar. It also comes with this, um, let me see if I can show you this. It is a volume tone control. Let's see if I can get it out of here. So we can, ah, right, there we go. Right. Back here, package. So this volume tone control, you can see there are the two knobs. It fits right under, underneath the sound hole. So in a playing situation, it would be like this, somewhere on the inside of the guitar. So that when you would see it on the top of the guitar, this sample top has two tops. But let's assume that this were outside the guitar. It would be right there on the bass side, right at your fingertips, so you could grab those two and uh, so it gives you a little more control on board. But um, again, uh, pluses and minuses to both of those pickups. Let's uh, let's listen to one of these things. Both of them, actually. I have two guitars here, each with one pickup in it. This is a really nice uh, Bedell guitar, the Bedell Coffee House Parlor guitar, a new instrument that comes with the K&K &K installed. There's the end pin jack. Let's uh, plug this guy in and see what we can get out of it here. I'm running both of these through a uh, Fishman Loudbox Mini Acoustic Guitar Amp. A really basic, straightforward guitar amp. So I wanted to use something that wasn't too terribly um, 
complicated, just so we can get a better idea of it. I'll use my fingers. I'm running the amplifier um, straight up, low, mids, highs, at uh, 12 o'clock, so very flat response here. This guitar has that Fishman Matrix Infinity installed. You can see there is the uh, volume tone module right there. This is a, uh, a used instrument. This is a Martin D18, the Jason Isbell model from 2017. A really uh, distinct, sharp uh, uh, signature model guitar. And, uh, See if we can plug this guy in and I can get my volume tones here. pickups tend to sound quite similar from guitar to guitar, so you get a lot of the sound of the pickup from those, as opposed to the, the top transducer where you get a little bit more warmth, a little bit more of the individual sound of the guitar. So when you're EQing it under the saddle pickup uh, guitar, you tend to uh, back off the high end a little bit, warm that up. And with a top transducer, you're usually trying to sharpen up the bass end. On a top transducer guitar, if there is a problem, it can sound a, it can sound a, little, a little too warm, a little tubby on the bass end, so that sometimes you're trying to sharpen that up and get that a little more distinct. Um, 
both pickups would be $126 installed. Let's look at some other prices here. Um, the K&K &K pickup is $99 for the pickup itself. Uh, no battery or anything. The, uh, the Fishman system is $159.95 plus a battery. It's such a little bit more maintenance, but you get a few other options. So there's a couple of pickups right there and uh, what's involved with uh, installing them. Well, let me talk a little bit more. I didn't talk a lot about that. You have to take the end pin out, ream that end pin up just to fit that uh, strap jack. On, under the saddle pickup, the saddle comes out. There's a small hole drilled in the end of the saddle slot to fit that wire through. And the, and the, the pickup wire is connected to the preamp. Sometimes there's some soldering involved with that. And then you have to put this little module in right there to fit. K and K is a little more straightforward in that um, it is again installing the end pin jack, but then getting each of those three elements in a very precise um, spot also. So there, we have covered the installation and what that's about, and a couple of different pickups. Um, let's hear them both one more time, all right? Let me see if I can get Let's hear them both one more time. I'll try to play a similar thing here so you can get a, a pretty good A, B, one to the other. to the same volume on this amp, so we can just turn them on, just do a pick. <laughs> tuning in today on Facebook. Uh, like us and share us on Facebook and we'll see you in a couple of weeks.